are the best possible, cheap and expensive, most overpowered Premier League players for you to sign after the latest update with the Fantasy FC players is the video you must watch here, it is right here. Good choice for you, watch it step by step to spend your coins the best way possible. And talking about spending your coins, here is an amazing website. If you want to build yourself the best possible strongest team, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Remember to use my discount code VIVA to enjoy 6% off your deal. Apart from coins, U7 Buy also provides nowadays games and also gift cards, game keys, mobile games and so much more. Click the link to watch it all in the description. If you're a big fan of football shirts and you want to buy it for yourself or to give it to a friend, go to Soccer Real Shop. There is a link down in the description. With the code VIVA, you receive a big discount of free shirts when you buy shirts. We are kicking the episode off as always with the goalkeepers and we have seen some amazing goalkeepers and upgrades in the Premier League. For example, for a good and cheap price, you're now able to sign Nick Pope and Ali Becker. Isn't that a treat? If you can spend around 70 to 100k, you can go for Mr. Octopus, the villain of Spider-Man, but he's now called Jersey Dudek, or you can go for Team of the Year nominee, Ederson Moraes, probably one of the best sweeper keepers at the moment in the world and the best goalkeeper in the whole game is playing in the Premier League and that is Alisson Becker, team of the year. We go to the center backs and for a very good and cheap price you can build yourself a rock star team in the center back position. For example, you can go for the Liverpool combo of Joe Gomez, Thunderstruck alongside Virgil van Dijk. Especially that combo is great in the air, on the ground, tackling and the passing of VVD and Joe Gomez is pretty high as well. Do you like pace, pace, pace? Just go Guardiol and Ogbana are also players you'll probably put in your heart and keep them there forever. They're good and great for a good cheap price. Want to upgrade that, we go to 200 to 400k. It's a big step, but in this stage of FIFA, FC, call it whatever you like, you normally have that kind of coins. Although with all the untradeable cards at the market, it's always a question mark. I understand that. Saliba and Kyle Walker are winter wild cards that are still worth your wow. Now we have Ibrahima Konati, one of those super cool Fantasy FC promo cards. This card is probably one of the best price quality wise on this page because although he's not as good as Ruben Diaz, Gvario rode to the final and City might win it so he will go up to 94. Van Dijk team of the year and a cool card as well. Fat Fantasy Vincent Company if you don't have the coins for those expensive players. Konate is a steal and a little bit of a gem nobody really talks about but he is amazing. A position that was rather weak at the start of FC24 was the right back position. It was either Kyle Walker but he was mega expensive because he was by far the best and then you had players like Juan Bisaka, Pedro Porro, normal gold cards but luckily EA improved this position a lot. The only man that actually deserved it was Inform Trent Alexander Arnold. All those other cards were gifted by EA, and luckily they were gifted because now with Pedro Porro, you get yourself a Root Gullet gang member on that right back position. That is amazing. Lamptey with the incredible jockey ability is great. Trent himself is one of the best passing fullbacks I have ever seen. And Reese James and Lewis, they are the best right backs. They jockey a lot because, well, what is jockey? You go from waiting to sprinting in no time. That is great for a fullback, guys. And with James, Lewis, and Lamptey having that playing style plus, these players are extra agility, extra explosive power at the start of a sprint. I must say this position needs some special cards. It's the most boring position so far in the Premier League. The good news is that a player like 87 Arn Reza is available for 30,000 coins. That's good news. He is a Root Gullet Gang member, guys. Don't be fooled. Zinchenko is a nice looking card for long. We find Emerson. Palmieri, this guy can go up very high because West Ham for me is one of those candidates to win the European League. So yes, he can go up to a 90 plus rated left back and he might surpass even Andrew Robertson who is now the most expensive left back. But Emerson has the potential to outgrow him. We go to the CDMs, the holding midfielders, those people in front of your defensive line that clean away a lot of attacking power of your opposition. If you don't have the coins, don't worry. Sandro Tonali and Enzo Fernandez will work together to 
keep your clean sheets very high. Want to go for 200k a player? Yep, they are that cheap at the moment. You can go for Ramirez and Yaya Toure. Both of them are exceptional players and you don't need to replace them until the end of the game. They are that good. Yeah, guys. The best CDMs, they come with a huge price. It is the better version of Yaya Toure and Ramirez. It is Timothy Rodri and 4 million pounds almost for Rodri. Uh, sorry, Declan Rice next to Rodri. 87 pace, 90 defending, 90 physicality. The only thing he can't do is shooting, but who needs a CDM for the shooting? But for 4 million coins, wow, that's a big price. I would maybe rather go for Ramirez and Yaitere, medium price, because they will also do a great job. It might sound strange, but the center midfield position is not that great in the Premier League this year. For a cheap budget, you're good to go. You're, you're good to settle down with Gallagher, Thiago, Joel Linton, and also Inform, Jao Gomez. Look at that card. It is incredible, guys. With also two playing style pluses on that card. Jao Gomez might be a hidden gem. You only see in my videos. So buy him, enjoy him, and win those games. Kieran Trippi and Ryan Gravenberg, for example, or the medium budget. For me, that is a little bit weak. If I compare it with the CDMs, for example, we had Ramirez and Yaya Toure. Legends. These cards are good. Don't get me wrong, but still... Well, the expensive players, they are a game changer. KDB, of course, and new future FC card, Ramirez. But this time as a central mid with a pink pass and intercept playing stop plus alongside his, well, insane stats on the card, 91 pace. I don't have to show you guys, you can watch it for yourself. But this Ramirez card might be the best card I ever played with and I got him in a fun draft. I can't afford him. I'm honest about it, but in the fourth draft, he changed my world. To complete the midfield, we have the camp position, and that's another position I think we need some extra power. The good news is that players like Subasly and Harvey Elliott are available for around, well, 50,000 coins. That is not a lot in this stage of FC24. And also the good news is that players like Gigi Okocha, Mr. Trickster, and Bruno Fernandes, he's great in the game. I don't like him on the real pitch because he's always falling down and he's always injured and then hopping back on his feet. But still in the game, for 100k, you can't take the wrong way with these guys. And only if you can spend millions, you can upgrade from Judge Okocha and Bruno Fernandes with Colt Palmer. The Manchester City youth academy player who now plays with Chelsea has 94 pace alongside 91 dribbling 90 shooting I'm sorry I'm laughing about it 89 passing and 85 physicality and 76 defending as well this guy is a god car no time to waste we cross the ball to the wing there we find Mosa Diaby Joe Cole, Mo Salah, and Mikael Olese. All of them are great players you want to get in that squad. Also the likes of Leon Bailey and Steve McManaman, another new card in the FUD Fantasy team, are players I like to put in that squad because they bring the whole package. Big pace, good dribbling, good shooting and passing. I love those guys for that reason. The only boys who will outperform them is Salah, Team of the Year nominee, Doku, Future Star, Rashford, fire in real life Rashford doesn't bring the fire he scored an amazing goal against City but for the rest of the game he was invisible Doku might be the best with his pace and Salah is the best finesse finisher when we go to the left wing you see this page full of color it's an amazing position Alejandro Garnacho with the acrobatic playing style for getting that card against Everton is now a cheap player alongside Gordy Gakpo do you like City well, I can't help you so far, but I can help you with Jack Grealish, fantasy card, 90 pace, he is finesse shot, a trickster, he is so hard to defend. If you give him just centimeters of room, he will whip in that amazing pass or he will score a finesse shot from long distance. His shooting, passing, dribbling combined is amazing and Ansu Fati is also an incredible player. It's like Gigi Okocha having a baby with Usain Bolt, that is how it feels. The only one that is better is Ansu Fati, road to the final, that card could go up to 94, that's insane, that's why he's so expensive. Willian is still one of the best on the left wing, Alejandro Ganacho with his future stars, I don't have to tell you how good he is, and new card, but how good that man is, Luis Diaz, 96 pace, 90 foot dribbling, playing style, quick step, playing style, technical, that man on the ball is game over. 
If you play against him, you know you will lose that game, quit the match, and just surrender because he will kick your ass. So finishing the episode off with the Strikers, and you will be in for a trade. If you have around 50k to spend, or even less, you can go with Mateus Cunha. Take a look, just take a look at that card. It's an inform card with 90 pace, 91 dribbling, 88 shooting, 85 passing, 84 physicality. Cunha is in. Incredible, I tell you that. Carlitos Tevez, relentless. He is relentless, guys. He's so good. He will keep running. And Haaland is a masterful finisher. Upgrading it, you go to United or City with Rasmus Hoylund or Julian Alvarez. But then the price goes up to around 100 to 200k. Okay, they're good players, but if you don't have the coins, you will be good with Cunha and Tevez and Haaland as well. If you want to go for the best of the best of the best, you find Nkunku. Gabriel Jesus, road to the final, who know how far that card will come. Darwin Nunez, road to the final, that card can also go up very high, as Liverpool is probably the biggest contester to win that competition. Carlitos Tevez with the baby dot in his <laughs> mouth, what a card. 90 pace, 91 dribbling, 92 shooting, 92 physicality, 85 passing, plus he has also the technical ability and the power shot relentless ability, so this card is never tired and never tired of scoring goals. Erling Broad Haaland, team of the year, is the best striker stats-wise. So, who will you buy? What is your team looking? Drop it down below. If you loved the video, leave a like, subscribe, and put on the notification bell. I'll see you back tomorrow with a brand new video.